three old and new warrior stories, three that we have still not found out about, and three that I read and will read out, well, explain to you guys. Hello, fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aram the Bookquester, and today I've got this Warriors novella book, Path of a Warrior, including Red Tail's Depth, Tawny, Tawny Pelt's Clan, and Shadow Star's Life, by Erin Hunter herself, group of people, and well, let's get right on to it. The first uh, book, or little story, well, the short story within this Path of a Warrior, is Red Tail's Depth. Now this is about where Red Tail and Tiger Claw's fatal rivalry, rivalry started. Basically, when Red Tail was just a paw and was still being taught the warrior ways, Tiger Tiger Claw, well Tiger Star, well Tiger Claw then rescues Red Tail. I mean Red Tail, Red Paw then from a hawk. And from then, he thinks that he owes Tiger Claw everything. Fast forwarding to the time when Red Tail is now a warrior, they are patrolling the border when they see an apprentice. Tiger Claw almost makes Red Tail rip the little apprentice apart for one little mistake that the apprentice didn't know well about of. Now this is a pretty little bit of foreshadowing to the season 1 villain, Tiger Claw going absolutely mental and almost destroying ripping apart the clans. And basically, it is about Red Tail trying to trying to see if Tiger Claw will go at any means to go over these bad bad things. And he doesn't even listen to him when Red Tail finally becomes deputy in the time when we know soon enough Firestar, well Fire Paw then will come. And finally, the book ends with Red Tail and Tiger Claw going against River Clan to chase them off their territory and it ends with Tiger Claw finally killing Red Tail. Now, if we continue on, basically that little story is about not crossing the line. You have to follow the rules, sure, and you have to do what is but always also, even with the cold hard rules, there are things that you must do that you must do right. It's kind of like Javert and the um, like less miserables because the one person who does what is right and the other and the other who does what he thinks is right and what his conscience that tells him to do. And Tiger Claw, he really just follows the rules and he is kind of rule better in a way, but he does what he loves, which is killing people. And he's very, very ambitious, too ambitious for his own liking, and follows the rules a little too strictly. I mean, shredding an apprentice for crossing a borderline that she barely knows? That, that can't be right, can it? And Red Tail knows that it isn't right in his mind. And I think that means that, e that is showing that even if there are rules, there are definitely exceptions, and there are exceptions that you need to make because you are human. And it is the right thing to do. Second story, it's about, it's called Tawny Pelt's Clan. And Tawny Pelt, well, is in the middle. Tawny Pelt basically, it's after Dark Tail, after Tawny Pelt's uh, mate, Rowan Star is dead, and she just misses the old Shadow Clan, where everything was alright, Rowan Star was alive, and everyone was happy. Now, now all these warriors in her clan are super hostile to her and gives her no respect. Tiger Star, her son, is a strong leader, sure, but she still wants the old Shadow Clan back, and she's trying to like Dovewing, who is her daughter, her daughter-in-law, her cat's daughter-in-law, whatever. She really tries, but Dovewing always seems to be way too eager to accept help from Thunder Clan, which is, after all, her birth clan. Then, of course, there's Shadow Kit. Now, if you read the Broken Code, we know what is destiny for that one. But he has the has this vision about a tree and a waterfall, and they think, oh, this prophecy must be well, this vision must be about our dear old the tribe, the tribe of rushing water. And if the tribe are in danger, they owe a huge debt to the tribe for sheltering them when they on the great journey. So they go ahead and go to the tribe to warn them. 
was Shadow Kid. And at first, Tawny Pill just tries to sneak him out by not conven- by not not just convincing Tiger Star, but she gets caught. But thankfully, Dove Wing stands up for her, and together they go to the tribe. There, Shadow Kid tells of a vision of a vision of a huge tree from the top of the mountain coming down to the waterfall, so that the huge tree would come down and crash into the cave, destroying where the tribe cats live. Now, this would kill all the tribes for sure, so the Shadow Kid goes, and he tells them to make this rock border to stop the tree from going down. Now, it stops the tree temporarily, but it, but it doesn't. It doesn't completely stop it, and it started to go down when a bolt of lightning, lightning comes down from the sky and incinerates the tree. Shadow Kid had delayed the log long enough. And Tawny Pult decides when she goes back to the Shadow Clan that she, Tiger Star needs a deputy that is open to new ideas and is new to and used to these used to the new world. After all, she doesn't really want to change this new world. She's old and she wants the old Shadow Clan back. But what the clan needs is not that. It is a new young deputy who thinks she, who is really, really open to change. And basically, the, the, that is the end of the short story, and I think it's basically about what's over it, accepting new change, and thinking about what is changing, and accepting it, and dealing with it, I think. I mean, change is something that you can't ever stop when it comes to a person, place, or anything in the world. But if you learn to accept it, then you'll be happy with it. And I think that is what the second story is trying to tell us, and also, it was pretty epic. Final one, Shadow Star's life. Shadow Star was talking to Sky Star. Sky Star, Shadow Star, Sky Star, Thunder Star, River Star, and Wind Star are the original letter, original leaders of the five clans. And they they are incredibly powerful and they are very very smart. But Shadow Star and Sky Star were were discussing something, because. These two legs has been coming to Sky Clan territory and scouting it out, seemingly wanting to build more two leg dens there. Because of this, Sky Star wants to bring it up in the gathering, and Shadow Star agrees to support Sky Star. And meanwhile, when Shadow Star and her and her deputy, I'm pretty sure is Moon Shadow or something or something among those lines, together they walk back home. But a pack of dogs come upon them. And Shadow Star loses one life, and her deputy, her deputy dies. But when she, when she was fighting, she thought that she saw a pair of am, of I'm pretty sure, amber eyes in, in the shadows of the forest, and she suspects that someone had potentially led the dogs on purpose in order to harm Shadow Star. And then, of course, Sky Star brings it up at the gathering, and Shadow Star goes ahead with his with her deputy and a and a group of warriors to check out if there is any livable territory for Sky Star to move into in case of a two leg invasion. But what happens is far far worse. While they are trying to search around, search some some new territory around High Stones, they are attacked by by they. I mean, Shadow Star is attacked. She almost dies because of a because of a two leg monster because someone had pushed her and then someone straight up attacks her and she recognizes the cat immediately. The cat is Quickwater, a Sky Clan a Sky Clan member, and she is terrified and she, she's not terrified. She's extremely angry and also the fact that it's her last life doesn't really help. So basically. They report her, and yeah, they report her to Sky Star, and Sky Star, believing Shadow Star, kicks her out. But Thunder Clan immediately gives refuge to Quickwater, because Quickwater is such a well, well known and well liked cat. It's hard for anyone to believe that she was a murderer and a breaker of the Warrior Code. At the gathering, Thunder Star and Sky Star pardons, pardons Quickwater, and says that it must have been a mistake. Meanwhile, Windstar accepts Shadow Star's logic. After all, Shadow Star had never lied before, and there was no reason for it to happen. When, 
And so Wind Clan and Shadow Clan together goes towards uh, goes towards Thunder Clan and Sky Clan territory. And together they say that Quakewater must go, and a battle ensues. And after that, Shadow Shadow Star and Quakewater duel. And finally, they manage to give each other fatal wounds. Quakewater finally bursts, admitting admitting everything to every one of the cats that were there. And Shadow Star forgives Quakewater for what she did. Quickwater was a loyal Sky Clan cat, and she was she had really really desperate because maybe maybe if the deputy and the leader was dead for Shadow Shadow Clan, maybe uh, it would be it would be better for Sky Clan and they could take some of Shadow Clan territory. And although her intentions were all right, her methods were really really bad, and she begs for forgiv forgiveness from Shadow Star, and Shadow Star accepts, and together they go to. Sh Go to Star Clan, and together they live there peacefully. And of course, the last one I think is about forgiveness. I it's not good if you did something bad, but you always must be ready to forgive someone else. And I think that is the very simple moral of the story. And of course, there was some awesome action. And that is all three stories in the short novella Path of a Warrior by Aaron Hunter. Now. I know that all three of these themes and all of this all this hidden hidden meaning is pretty much plain as day. I mean, you can obviously tell what the message is, but I think that's the point. Because these three short stories are well short stories, Aaron Hunter needed some very simple but very hopeful and bright messages within this this book. And I think it does an excellent job with that, even though with more extreme 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 things, extreme situations. And all in all, it is a great book to read, very, very enjoyable, and like always, your book quester, Aaron the Book Quester. Have a great day, guys, and, well, I'm waiting for the next Warriors book. Bye.